I remember the day I was making my retreat preceding priestly ordination and I was contemplating this great mystery of the Incarnation and how it is that the Angel Gabriel presented to Our Lady God's plan for her that uh, God's Son would become incarnate and when she asked the question how this would be the reply was the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High would overshadow you and I related that to this great mystery of ordination I was preparing for and in particular the, in particular to the uh, gift of the, the power of order by which a priest can consecrate and, and has the power to forgive sins and it gave me great consolation to know that it's only by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ask God, well, how can this be? And, and men sometimes ask, especially those who are not Catholic, they might ask, well, how can this be? How can a man forgive sins? And very similar to that question Our Lady answered, asked of the angel, uh, how can it be that I'm going to become the mother of, of God, of Christ? And the great answer is the Holy Spirit. Yes, it's only the power of God that can realize this in a soul. And when you come to fully understand that, to realize it, to, it penetrates within you, you understand that, well, there are so many other things, so many other aspects of the life of a priest that are beyond you. And, and frequently, how many times, it's almost a daily occurrence, I, I don't know what I'm going to say, I don't know what I'm going to do, but somehow things happen, somehow the right word is said, the right gesture is there, and souls are touched and souls are brought to God and that word comes to my mind, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. It is the power of God through the laying on of hands and priestly ordination. Mm -hmm.